If you want to play across the entire fretboard and do it quickly, the idea I'll show you today is a powerful way to get started. And it's dead easy too, so stay tuned. Once upon a time, a long time ago, I was told that the great physicist Enrico Fermi said, if I understand the n equals 1, n equals 2, and n equals 3 cases, I truly understand it. Now, I've never been able to find that quote, but the idea has a great power to it. Translating that into guitar, what that means is if we understand a chord or a lick or a scale, whatever, in three different places of the fretboard, we're well on our way to mastering it. Let's say you're learning a new song. I'm going to learn Let It Be. That's an old song. Oh yeah. Anyway, let's say the first chord is C. Instead of just downloading the chord sheet, or worse yet, the tab, let's do something simple that's going to help us become better players. Now, you probably know this, but just in case, each string on the guitar has all the notes on it in frets 1 through 12, but they're in different places on each string. For example, here's a C on the low E string, and a C on the A string, and a C on the D string. Now, the simple but powerful idea is this. Find our chord, the C chord, three times using each of those notes that we found, the C on the E, the C on the A, and the C on the D, as the root of a chord. Ideally, you could find each chord using your knowledge of the notes of the chord, but you can also make life easier using an internet tool or Guitar Pro or something. For the root on the E string, we might use this chord. And for the root on the A string, we could use this. And for the root on the D string, we could use this. It's just that simple. Do this for a month or so, and you'll really start to know the fretboard. Soon you'll know different chords all over the place. For example, here's how it might work for a G7 chord. Here's a G7 with the root on the E string. And now a G7 with the root on the A string. And now a G7 with the root on the D string. But there's a trap you can fall into. Have you ever noticed how some people decide to work out more? And then they work out so much that they get sore and quit? Yep, same thing here. Just learn three chords, one for each root note, not 15 different chords. And don't try and do it for every chord of every song and just exhaust yourself and take the joy out of playing. So have fun. But you can extend this idea to fully understand the fretboard for creating solos too. In fact, I created a 90-minute masterclass to do just that. It's called Visualize the Fretboard for Epic Solos in Two Weeks Without Complex Theory. There's a coupon code for 15% off if you'd like to check it out. That's in the link in the description. You'll be confident moving around the fretboard in just two weeks. See you on down the road.